them, it says tungsten. You see tungsten every day. In fact, it is the filaments within the light bulb. It has extremely high melting point and hence can be heated up to white hotness and still not melt. People do not usually realize that tungsten is extremely heavy. I have here in my hand a sample of tungsten which is extremely dense. This piece of tungsten we will compare the weight of with let's say pennies. Let's put this piece of tungsten over here in this balance. See it's evenly balanced. Put the tungsten over here and we'll see how many pennies it takes to counterbalance this. Oh, let's see. Oop, not enough. Gotta go more. More. Still not there. Not yet. Even need more. Finally, it took that many pennies to counterbalance the tungsten. Extremely heavy metal. In fact, tungsten is even more dense than gold. The most common mineral of tungsten is scheelite, named for Scheele, who discovered tungsten. This white mineral here has the property of high density. It is calcium tungstate, is what it is. It also has another property which we will observe if we go into a dark room. So follow me. I have an ultraviolet light here, which will turn on. And then come inside and we'll see what it does. You have to close the door. In my hand we have this specimen of shelite and you see that it has a beautiful bluish white fluorescence. This is how you can tell it from other minerals. For example, powellite, which is not calcium tungstate but calcium molybdenite, looks like this. It is yellowish. See the little yellowish crystal? One can distinguish between molybdenum minerals and tungsten minerals in this way. Okay. Let's look at these two minerals in the daylight. Here is the scheelite in this hand and the powellite. See the little yellow crystal in this hand. Now I'm going to show you two different forms of scheelite. Here is a beautiful crystal of scheelite. See the beautiful octahedral geometry here. We see an octahedron and a couple of smaller octahedra here spliced on top of the first octahedron. Scheelite does crystallize in the octahedral shape most commonly. However, generally it's amorphous. Here's an example here. If you look carefully, you can see the white veins in here of scheelite. The Swedes call this frozen snot, which means frozen snot, because it's exactly what it looks like when you, most of the times you see this particular mineral.